Hi, welcome back to Missing Chemistry. This is Electron Configuration of Copernium, C in lesson. Okay, Copernium is element number 112. Okay, and its uh, atomic mass unit is 285. That's what it looks like. Yep. And now that means we have 112 protons, electrically neutral, 112 electrons. 285 minus 112 is going to be 173 neutrons. Remember that S holds two electrons, P holds six electrons, D holds 10 electrons, and F holds 14 electrons. Okay, remember that the lower shell, we do the off-ball principle where we fill the lower shells first, then we move to the upper shells. And we're gonna use a diagonal rule to do this. We start off with one S2, and we slide down these orange arrows until we run out of electrons. See that? And we just keep on going. We got 112 electrons to go, so it's gonna be a while. See how I'm doing that? It's good I good to decide to put music background in here because that would really help us a whole lot. This is going to get where it's get interesting. 7s2. Five F14. Six P six D six. I believe it is. That's what it says. No, that can't be right. Hang on for one second. Sorry, I miscounted, guys. It's not 6D6, I'm at 6D10. Wow. Ah, that's okay. When you count all these things up, sometimes you can make a mistake. We don't use 7P now. Hunt's world deals with orbital notation, so we go up arrow and down arrow. Up arrow and down arrow. See that? Up, 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 down, 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 up, and down. See how that goes? Pretty nicely. So we got 110 of these errors, so we need, uh, 112 of these errors, so these principles will just kind of hang in there for the ride. All right, we're getting close. 60, 10. Okay, now our noble gas notation. This noble gas is right on. That ends in 6P6. We'll block all that out real quickly. snarly. So there's a radon. And now we're going to put the shells in order. Okay, now our quantum notation. It looks like it's in the seventh period, but it's in the n block. I mean the d block, so it's going to be n minus one, so it'll be seven minus one, which would give me six. So our n value is six. It's in the D block, so the momentum is 2. It's the last one, so it's going to be in there. And this last arrow right here, it's going down, so it's going to be 1 half negative. 
And that's it for this lesson. You guys be snarly, and we'll see you back here at Moosing Chemistry.